Hi, my name is Cass Kramer. I'm here at the Sasquatch headquarters here in Silverton, Colorado. And we've got a smuggler here that I like to go through. And I'm going to start with the backside. Um, got a full size spare uh, mounted to the, the spare tire rack here. And it has a, a little bike rack or a hitch mount right here. Um, and what's nice about this is uh, when you open up the spare tire, um, you can leave your bike rack uh, attached if you needed to get anything out of the kitchen. Uh, you don't have to disassemble it and mess with it. Uh, but before I get that open, I want to start with um, this control panel. It has all the things that you would want to access with the kitchen closed. Um, you can also access it with the kitchen open as well, uh, which is really nice. But we've got a USB charge station. It's got two, two ports in it, 12-volt um, power supply. Um, both of these could be run up to your rooftop tent if you've got some extension cords for um, your chargers and you can um, access your, your phone or whatever you have up in the tent. Got a set of floodlights built into the bumper. Uh, so if you're rolling the camp at night, you want to get set up, uh, you can flood the campsite uh, as well as these lights come on when your vehicle is in reverse. Uh, they come on in a dimmer setting so you don't necessarily blind the person behind you, uh, which is really nice. There's a set of ground lights that illuminate uh, the ground around the trailer. Uh, real kind of a dimmer setting, so no harsh lights, but you can still see the perimeter of the trailer. Um, get to each compartment and component. And then we have our uh, lights that illuminate the kitchen, which I'll get into. Spare tire rack has an oversized uh, locking draw latch built into it. Keep that thing secure while you're traveling, uh, as well as a locking pin. There's different pin settings here that you can lock the door open to. You have a fold down stainless steel prep table to use where you're cooking and that locks up into place and stays secure while you're traveling. And inside the kitchen, uh, the rear door can latch into place, keep it secure while you're camping. Um, it also has uh, automotive grade compression latches, keep everything dry uh, in the rain or while you're traveling. Inside of our mounted to the rear door is a fridge shelf with a dedicated power supply. Uh, you have a few different fridge options. Um, you can get the unit with no fridge and use it as a shelf or supply your own. We also offer the ISCO 65 quart dual zone uh, and have the ARB fridge as an option as well. Both those fridges have tie down straps and we've got tie down points built into the fridge shelf to keep this thing secured while you're traveling. Inside the kitchen, we've got a shelf system built in, uh, cabinets. So the exterior two cabinets have a fixed shelf built up high and then the middle one is fully open. Uh, that one's good to put you know, large bins in uh, for storage while you're traveling. Below the cabinets, we've got two push to open, push to close drawers with adjustable dividers that you can move around and keep things organized and from rattling around while you're traveling. The control panel has a switch for the water pump, the 12 volt outlet that powers your fridge, kitchen lights, which are inside of uh, the kitchen here, and then the table lights illuminate the fridge table as well as the prep table light built into the spare tire rack. We've got an AC power outlet that's run from to the inverter as well as your water gauge. Uh, we got a 36 gallon water tank in the smuggler. We've got a stainless steel cooktop or countertop and a three burner cooktop made by Furion built in. And then we have our sink which is uh, supplied with on-demand hot water. Up above, one of my favorite features is the Squatch Box. And this box is designed to hold two solar panels and a custom-made camp table. Uh, what I like about the Squatch Box the most is, I mean, these are really long items that would take up a lot of space inside of your cab. So you're able to transport these cleanly without having them moving around uh, or taking up any space inside of your cab. So it's a good use of the area below the roof rack.